So it's been 59 days since my pastel female ball python laid her clutch of six eggs. And today we had our first pip and I've got a pretty good look at the baby inside. I can already tell it looks like it's a pastel. So the pairing was a pastel to a bumblebee. So we're gonna see what uh, we have inside these eggs here. I'm gonna start cutting them. So this one I'm gonna give, uh, I think he's got a good enough of a window, but we're gonna cut a little more on this little guy. There we go. I'm gonna be really careful, so bear with me here. Let's give him a nice little window. There we go. Cut all this junk out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and just move this pastel. Sit him right there. All right, now for the other five. Oop, this one's already, you can see it. Oop, there's a snake right there. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a killer. Uh, the last one I have my doubts, but this is a killer. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how thin those black stripes are. Oh, I can't wait to see this one when it comes out of the egg. Oh my goodness. Look at you. Let me cut this away. Wow, that's exciting. It's really light in color. Cool. Look at that. All right, so I'm transferring them out of their hatch right container over into this little hatching container where I have damp paper towel where they're all gonna come out. So looking at these again, I'm pretty sure we have a pastel, super pastel. These two, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they might actually be, now that I'm looking at both these side by side, they might be normals. Looking at this one next to this one, this one looks like it may just be a bumblebee, but I can't be 100% sure, and this one definitely looks like a killer. Very exciting. Like many people that breed ball pythons, I usually like to wait till the first egg pips before I cut the eggs. I only like to cut a small window in the eggs not only because I'm excited to see what's been developing in there for the last two months, but because the embryos, the little pythons, they run the possibility of if they do cut the egg with their egg tooth and recede back into all the embryonic goo that's still in there, they could actually drown in the egg. So a lot of people also like to cut that little viewing window, not just to see them, but so they can poke their little heads out a little bit easier so they can breathe when they're ready to come out. So it's gonna be about another day or two before they come fully out of the egg. So I'm gonna give them a little bit of time and I'll be back with that little bit of the video. All right, it's been a couple days since I originally cut the eggs and it took some time, but all these snakes eventually slithered their way out of their eggs. So if you wanna take a close look here, I can point out each individual one so we can get a better look. So here, this one here, the real light colored one, that's the killer bee. And this darker yellow and black is the bumblebee. Here's one of the normals and another one of the normals. And let me undo this little pile of snakes over here and show you the pastel. So here's the baby pastel and the super pastel. So you can kind of see them right next to each other, the regular pastel. 
and the Super Pastel. You can see how light colored the head is on the Super Pastel. This is a really, really cool looking snake. But so this is a very exciting clutch. I really do enjoy breeding ball pythons and seeing what comes out of the egg. All right, so the snakes do look like a little shiny at this point. They haven't gone through their first shed yet since coming out of the egg. That usually happens within their first few weeks of hatching. So I look forward to see what they look like after then. Until then, stay tuned to my channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.